No, signore. That art is wrong. I told you it was a regular ball. Did you? Welcome back to another episode of Sherlock Chapter 1, Part 2. Let's get into it. I'm so ready to reveal who the murderer actually is. Let's go. Alright, so. Okay, it's recording. Who did you think was the murderer? Luca Galici or uh, Lord Craven? I think we all know who it is. We have to connect the dots now. Seance theft. The diamond was stolen during the seance. So we've already looked at some of them. Ah. Emma left the scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. That is a possibility. Oh, no. Um. The lock can easily be picked. Wait, and then. The lock between the two hotel rooms was weak. Luca could pick it easily. Emma was stealing from Lord Craven. Emma had a history of deceit. Emma was a thief, but made Lord Craven believe that the servants were stealing. She'd done it throughout their trip. Uh -huh. If their paths had crossed in the past, Luca could well know of Emma's predilection for theory. Ah, now we can make choices. Luca's scratches were left by servants while roughly escorting Luca to the lock to be locked in his room. The servants mistreated and scratched him. I don't think that's the case. Emma left the scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. That's also a possibility, and I honestly think that one is more probable than than just servants making the cuts. We'll do that one. Um, Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Let's see. The murderer left the diamond, or Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone. Whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her body, uh, or Lord Craven returned to the room just as Emma was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. Yeah. Lord Craven was in the room with Emma. Let's see. Lord Craven had enough time to kill Emma before I arrived, or the murderer had time to kill Emma while Lord Craven was drinking downstairs. We really have to go with the most probable situation here. Wait. I'm not missing anything, so I don't know. Luca could know Emma set him up. The medium, Luca Galici, could have seen no could have known that Emma was a thief and that she was trying to frame him for for her crime. Oh here we go. Oh okay. Luca Galici is the murderer. Emma tried to frame Luca, the medium, for her theft of the diamond. In revenge, he killed her. Luca Galici is the murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Luca fought for his life, 
given his, his checkered past, if he were arrested, nothing would save him from a death sentence. And Emma knew it. I will not stop him from fleeing to start a new life. Honestly, I don't really feel sorry for him. Shall we bring him to justice? I think so. He's our first victim. First victim. First murderer. It was his fault anyway. Luca Galici is a murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. It is true. I agree. Wholeheartedly. Let's do it. Accuse him. Ah, okay. We can talk to him and we can accuse him. Let's do it. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Your scratches are damning. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... you are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> he is definitely so guilty. A locks can be picked. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? Yeah. You knew Emma was a thief. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh... <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Confess, Luca. Confess to us. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... I... Ha... I don't know how you figured it out, but yes, I killed her, I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too, but only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Ooh. Okay. He is good. He is good, I have to admit. But he could have gone to the police, so... Um... Let's play it as Sherlock would. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Hmm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, 
There was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. That, that, um, conversation they just had? John? What is John exactly? What are you? Because, um, they've given us quite a lot of hints throughout the story so far. Sherry, I forbid you to spend another night here. The hotel's reputation won't survive a second investigation. Okay, we're just gonna leave it as that. Let's just play and we'll figure it out as we go, I guess. Yeah, um, where are we going? I have to... There's some other... Let's go to the Mind Palace. A Mother's Love. Let's see... No! <laughs> what? My imaginary friend John? He's been imaginary this entire- He's been imaginary this entire time. That explains so much! John, do you suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have, and if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. I see it was reserved for two people. Would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. I swear to you, do you teleport? What's happening? Why are you ordering me around? Why can't you do something? You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. Let's imagine it in our heads. He could just teleport from one place to the next and like that made this whole story a lot more sad john is imaginary then he's like all alone and he's just imagining john and it he's his only friend okay my imaginary friend john john has been my friend since childhood i cannot remember a time without him he cannot accept that only i can see him that's so sad. I'm sorry, but I'm emotional. I'm an emotional wreck at this point. He just... He thinks that John can... He thinks that John is gonna be sad if he gets to know that other people can't see him. And it's just himself. No. Okay. You can do this, focus. You do this. Where are we going? Are we walking? Around? I find it so cool. It's gonna be like an open world uh, concept. Hello. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Yes. Let's go. Wherever that is. Onward to the graveyard. I am not mo emotionally prepared for this. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? The funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. This episode started out quite grim, actually. 
Oh no. Okay, let's figure it out. Oh, it's Sherlock or something. Yeah, it's Sherlock. As young. No. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. Okay. So Mycroft was there for him, I guess. When he was distraught by his mother's death. Oh, he looks so sad. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. So, what now? Oh, okay. We're following him. Okay. Let's go. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. Yeah, he's a man of science, not of belief, so that makes sense. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Sherlock. It'll never go e get easier. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Okay, let's focus. What's this? That's a flower. Oh, that's cute. A pocket watch? It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Violet Holmes. Rest in peace. 1829 to 1869. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, mother. The candle. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Hmm. Violent, no, Violent Holmes. <laughs> Violet Holmes. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Hmm. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? Okay, so, um... Oh, footprints. Fashionable shoes, brand new. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. Hmm. I don't. I'm not really familiar with feet, but uh, we'll just have to go with it. You're about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. Poor John. He's just like, you're ignoring me. You're ignoring feelings, Sherlock. But like in the books too, Sherlock was uh, the one of the brothers with the most feelings. I guess that's just his way of coping. We all have a way of coping, so... Ah. It's an old-fashioned bike! Cool. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. A portable easel was kept there. It's stained hmm. with oil paint.
It's a tree. Oh, oh, let me look at it. Let me look at it. The hospital yeah. crypt. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's something on the back. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. An artist working in a cemetery. Hmm. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? Uh, we have already met an artist. Maybe it's him. <sighs> Excuse me while I use eternities of looking around. So, where are we going? Ooh. That was kind of a cool graveyard with lots of different... Colosseum or something? I don't know. Water aqueducts, maybe? So now we're searching for the artist. He must be nearby. Can we ask someone? Maybe. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Ah, here's the tree. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, ridiculous artist from the hotel. Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Make friends? Fine. We'll be nice this once. Maybe. I might change my mind. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. I oh, don't know what it is, but he really creeps me out. Like, I don't like him at all. He is definitely a murderer. Okay, maybe not, but some weird creep, maybe. <sighs> Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course! We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces too. I am sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. Then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I'm sure we'll find them. Did you visit my mother's tomb? How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Mm. Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no, you'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious oh. gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. 
I leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. This whole situation is sort of odd. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I just said. He is odd. And I don't like him. Okay. We don't like him, John. We don't like him. The archives at the City Hall Police Station and Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. When investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. Okay. <gasps> okay, we do have a map, so maybe we can, like, you know, find it here. Police station. Ah, let's go to the police station then. There's more entries in his diary. Let's read them. Sometimes I truly believe Sherry can never be mistaken. I'm so proud to be by his side. So Luca killed the lady, and I'm not entirely sure I blame him. It's up to the police now, but to me, Craven seems more despicable. I agree. He was more despicable. Unless Sherlock changes tactics, we'll spend the next week seeking answers. There must be a better way to approach this. How does Sherry always know what to do to get the answer? There are so many variables. Incredible. What a marvelous occasion witnessing te theft of ghost. Who would have anticipated such a thrilling evening? No one noticed our presence until we were listening in, and we learned everything we needed. A perfect operation. I think I now understand how Sherry's mind works. I bet I could pick the right passerby to question, but they'd probably ignore me. Sometimes I truly believe Sherry could never be mistaken. I'm so proud to be by his side. He did it. I should have bet on something more difficult. Like finding the man with his eyes closed. <laughs> I wonder what John's actual name is. Um, if it's standing for something since it's not written with an H. Okay. Can we go out? Can we just walk out of here? That would be nice. <gasps> we can! Oh, okay, we can explore. Let's go. We're walking towards that big arrow then I assume. Are you Hello. able to help me? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. <laughs> he seems so mysterious. Let's just follow the trail then. Emperor's Aqueduct. Oh, it was an act of aqueduct. I learned about this in art school. <laughs> Do you know anything about this? We cry for help. You do nothing. So when you ask for help, why should we speak? Okay. Extra, Seems like uh, extra. you had Look at what you've done! Criminal Luca Galici, posing as a medium, confesses to the strangulation of a noblewoman. Oh, okay. I think I get it. I think I get what this game is really about. Um, extra! Extra! If my theory is correct, this game is probably some sort of like... You can get good endings and bad endings. At least that's what I'm guessing since you have choices and stuff. The cheapest news on the island. Can we buy it? 80? 80 what now? What is that? Currency. Do we have Thank money? Thank you. What? Do we have money? Okay. 
I am honestly not sure where I'm going. I just... I'm just going somewhere. So... Oh! <gasps> There's a goat! Oh my god, it's so cute. Can we pet it? That would be great, but... I guess not. Can we scan it? No. We can only scan humans. Okay. Well, we are on the way in the right direction, I presume. Or are we? Really? No! Okay, wait. Where's John though? He's not following me at this point. He's just like, oh no. You do all the work, Sherry. <sighs> well, we don't know. We are not aware that he is imaginary. So we're just gonna pretend that he is not imaginary. Church of Saint Denis. Oh, look at his fancy English posh boy, and then you see <laughs> all these people <laughs> and this town. He's just like he does not fit in. <laughs> I wait. What? Huh. That is definitely a mission place later, probably. I'm so confused. Where am I going? It'll be so much easier. New look. Okay. We are close by. Uh, what? What, mate? Well, here. Oh. Sniffs tobacco. Can we find a way in then, maybe? There should be a way in. Ah, okay, maybe here. Here we go! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> I'm convinced that they are, in fact, Sims characters, and we're all in this simulation. <laughs> Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Hmm. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. Can I help? Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm <laughs> quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, yeah. as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Thank you. Let's prove it to him. We're good at drawing. I mean, look at the... Look at this beautiful face. Look at it. Ah, here we go. Sketching thief. The police needs to get a sketch of a thief who robbed Miss Mrs. Nini's atelier. The sketch artist was unable to capture the likeness of the culprit, but my disguise skills may prove more effective. Ah, okay. 
So we're not gonna draw? Okay, now I was disappointed. The Atelier was located at the intersection of Knights RD and Trinity Way in Scaladio. Scaladio. I'm working! She wants a proper sketch, I'll make her a proper bloody sketch! Okay. Do you know anything about this? Why should I care about your troubles when you don't care about mine? <laughs> okay, that's cold. What have I done to you? What did I do? People hate me. <laughs> Probably because of the case with Luca Galici or something. Okay, here we go. We don't have any costumes though, currently. So, where do we get costumes? Oh, you can pick outfit for him. Oh, that's cute. No, but seriously, what am I supposed to do? Intersection. Wow, I didn't see that. The Atelier is located at the intersection of Knight RD and Trinity Way in Spell. Scaladio. I wrote, I mean, I read it, but it didn't go into my brain. Baskerville Street. Cool. They have so many, so many little uh, Easter eggs. Look at that. Redbeard RD. Wow. How did I not see that? I'm blind. Uh, blind. Can I? Oh, wow. I can do that too. Wow. Okay, wait. Where am I? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. What's up? Okay. What's up? Oh, we're going this way. Knock him over. Huh? That's my new sport. Wait, it's this way. We don't care about anyone. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mrs. Nini Sattler. There we go. Oh, cool. That's very Victorian. I'm pleased to meet you, Mom. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Mom. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, Signore. No. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Please, describe the thief. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How mm. much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. Let's do it differently. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop, at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Let's play dress up! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Let's go! Whoa, I thought it was, I swear, I thought it was half a human. It was just a mannequin. I hate man. John, are you uh, selling things? Can I buy that uh, nice little head John has wares thing? if you have coin. Yes, please. He's the vendor. He, you know, like the vendor that moves around in different locations in different games. And no explanation to how they got there. Like in God of War. Oh, and there he is again. What can I do for you, Sherlock? Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Ha! 
Uncle Giovanni? Oh, signore, you look exactly like my uncle. He's the grandson of the Doge of Venice, you know. I knew you reminded me of someone. You are as alike as two peas. Uh, perhaps you have some royal blood in you, too. That is flattering, I suppose, but I sincerely doubt it, Mum. I told you, he's a doge. Now that's a deduction. He's not an actual doge. If you say so, my lord, the doge. Oh, look at the little... Little soft boy. He suits that kind of style. Ugh, you don't suit that. Oh no, you look like a snob, like Mycroft. Let's just um, hear her explanation again, if we can. That would be great. Oh no, it's all wrong. You look nothing like him. What is wrong no, exactly? Why everything? What did you explain? He had glasses and bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's not intentional. <laughs> okay, so we need to read her explanation then. Let's see. The thief looked like an utter rascal. He was beaten up and wearing glasses. Are you kidding me? What if it was the guy we met? <laughs> Looks like he might rub, <laughs> rub off. <laughs> oh, wow. You, you don't look good with that. Oh my god. <laughs> Kawaii. Need a hat. Let's try that. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. Okay, so beige suit. <laughs> I like that he's like ugly. It's ugly. It's the worst suit in the game. Just awful. <laughs> Square pair on your round holes. <laughs> Maybe without the mo moustache, then. I don't remember. Without the moustache? He did wear glasses, but not like those. His were angular and evil looking. Uh -huh. All right, I'll try another pair. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something too evil innocent, about no. his face. Yeah. Like a moustache. <laughs> yes, the kind that all villains twirl what? as they plot their evil plans. Oh I'd say that not all villains wear moustaches, ah, okay, but okay. I get your point, Mom. Twirly. He was wearing Look a hat. Up. Didn't I tell you about the hat? It didn't go well with his suit. That man had no dress sense at all. Well, what did it look like? Oh, just a regular hat, you know, black. Can't you just tell me everything at once? Wait, is it top hat, probably? No, signore. That hat is wrong. I told you it was a regular bowler. You didn't tell me it was a bowler. Did you? But I did. I'm sorry, did you? You ought to pay more attention, no, you didn't. signore. No. Yes, lady. It was a regular bowler. <laughs> What's an... What's in your head? <laughs> what's what's on your head? I'm sorry, I'm easily entertained. I mean, it's him! It's him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. It is I him. hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mum, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Ah. John has wares, if you have coin. ka -ching. Thank you, John, for your purchase. Night already. Are <laughs> you so long time? We have more suits! Oh my god, yes! Gatilla is calling. <laughs> Respect the quiff. Why'd they make him so pretty? 
why they make him so pretty. That's exactly what I just said in previous episode. Why did they make Sherlock so goddamn pretty in this game? Partner coding toil. <laughs> oh my god, these these little Easter eggs are just perfect. Are they open, please? Okay. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite <laughs> tolerable. Huh. Tolerable. tolerable. Hey, Logan. Absolutely. We've got not. the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Ka -ching, ka ching Let's go. We even got money. Heck yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. There we go, okay. We got it, we got it. Come on. No? No. Victims and... Search. Let's do it. Let's just try it. All I found in the archive was an empty folder labeled Thursley, case of Violet Holmes. April 9th, 1869. Stonewood Manor, Grand Saray. There are no documents inside at all. It seems that there really was a police investigation, yet all the case files are missing. Hmm. Someone sabotaged it, I'm sure. Okay, let's go. That didn't really help us, did it? <gasps> Whoa! Trippy! John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona. <laughs> Sitting up there. In a manor. And there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague. A, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. How do you get down? <laughs> John, are you coming? That was trippy. Thanks, Mr. Stark. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished. As if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Show me the ropes. They're gonna hang me? Oh no. <laughs> so, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see <laughs> the results. You're not even gonna join me in. You're just gonna stand there and write on your little sketchbook. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant Aye, how yay, you do okay. it. To aim, press L2, I figured that out. Uh, fire with R2, aiming, act. Hey, we're on a roll. Squish. 
Oh. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Hooray. We got Seems it. Next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Okay, okay. Move on to the next room, you boy. boy. That's an That's order. An order. Come on, Sherry. It's just like uh, in childhood. Ooh. Okay. To roll. We can roll! Let's roll. Let's roll. Okay. Steady, Sherry. Shoot him. Steady. And... Run. Go. <laughs> this is really fun, actually. Sherlock, you are the fastest man alive. I know, I know, thank you, thank you, thank you. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike yeah. them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. And the hat. I could do this. Please stuff don't, ready. Sherry, we don't have that much time. Let's, Let's move, move on. on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Oh, it's kind of stressful, actually. <gasps> nice. Hey. All right, let's move on, Sherry. All right, like let's John move on, Sherry. Evaluating me, not the officer. <laughs> if you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Mm. I'm trying to estimate the range Seeing for your snuff box. box. Wait. Blow this. Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk Where about your results. from? Is everyone just... Teleporting these days, apparently. What kind of new technology do you have? Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll yeah. handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the <laughs> eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's, let's get cracking. Get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all Murder with one is shot. Cruel and Good excessive. luck, Sherry, and remember, the surroundings are your playground. Murder is cruel and excessive. Try to arrest the enemy instead. Disorient your opponent to get in close and then press X to arrest them. Let's try it. I'm coming for you. No. Shit. Shit. Can we... Uh, arrest? Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> they didn't give me... They didn't give me any instructions on that. Ah! Whoa! Okay, wait, 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 give me a chance, give me a chance, ah! don't uh, hurt me, ah, okay, wait, 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 here we go, heck yeah, we got him, don't hurry, moving, you've lost, oh, more, Okay, okay, okay. We got it. We got. Oh, we got a handcuff. Frick. Frick, and he has a gun. Oh. Oh, shit. And they are allowed to shoot me? This is unfair. Wait, 
I need to get his shoulder armor. Shit. Shit. Yes. Run, run. Give him oh, the pepper snuff. <laughs> no. Shit. I couldn't miss the party. Oh shit. No. This is actually much harder than it looks. Okay, we, we are on a roll. Ah, uh, that was way too far away. Overcome him, don't I... rush. I'm coming for you. No, don't come for me. Please. Please. Give me a chance. I'll put you six feet under. Why? I'm out of rounds, oh, that's why. Eh. This is perfect. Thank <laughs> you. Take a rest, my f The snuff's ready. Snuff is ready. <laughs> oh no, no more. Oh, there's so many. Can overcome the brute now. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, we got Too it. Simple. Too simple. <gasps> That's enough. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the I close know, combat. Right? I did tell you that I I'm am well trained. trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Thank you. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head Let's. for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. Okay, and then we have the um, bandit lair. Interesting. So there's some new things here. Sherry found the file so quickly that I couldn't investigate an odd sound I heard. It was probably a banshee. But now, we'll never know. Another victory on the board, and all of our foes li live to lick their wounds. I'm so proud of Sherry. No one can stand against us. I think we'll end it right here. Actually, so much has happened in so little time. I feel as we're getting to know this world a little bit more. Just a little bit. Are you enjoying this travel back in time with me to solve crimes? If you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to share the experience with your friends. It's so much better. Alas, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!